in science, yet there is, you know, varying agreements and disagreements from scientists and non-scientist people. So, like, some people are flat earthers. It doesn't matter whether they're right or wrong. Is that people? They just, the, no, no, no. There is, there is a flat Earth society. Is this flat? The, uh, yeah, okay, yes, okay, there is. Okay, okay. And, okay let's there not go that. Let's not go. No, one second. Whoa, 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 whoa. One second. Let, don't take the extreme example and then make it unto everybody else. I'll give you another example. People disagree about whether. Um, uh, I don't know, with things regards to evolutionary models, the modern synthesis, et cetera, et cetera. So, like, there's disagreements among, uh, what's it called, uh, scientists within the fields and outside. So just, I, but I don't know, one second. So, what I'm trying to establish a principle with you is that just because there's disagreement and just because there's a lot of different options and people are uh, side on and against each other for what they think is the truth, doesn't mean that there isn't one absolute truth. That's all I'm telling you. So that because a lot of people take a lot of different religions, does not mean that religions cannot be proven and does not mean that one religion doesn't have better evidence than the others. Does that make uh, sense to you? Frankly, no. Because Why not? Because we're not talking... Science deals in actual physical things. Yes. When you're talking about religions, you're talking about something of an ethereal nature, something beyond the Metaphysical, physical. yes. Metaphysical, sure. exactly. Something there is zero way for any evidence to be presented. Ah, no, 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 no. I'll pause you there. No, maybe not scientific, empirical, uh, empirical, testable evidence that's replicated in a lab, sure. But the reason that isn't the case is because you're using the wrong tool for the job. No, nobody said that there is scientific evidence to prove this religion, that religion, or this religion. But is scientific evidence the only kind of evidence human beings accept? I'd say no. What other evidence is there? How, how, the fact that you use science in your knowledge, you're not even using it based on science. When you talk about scientific ideas, you're using testimonial evidence because you've never done a single experiment when you, because I'm assuming that you're not a scientist in a lab, which you're not. Uh, you've never done a single experiment. You're taking the testimony of scientific reports. Correct. You're taking the testimony of scientists. That's all testimonial evidence. I'm not saying you shouldn't take it. Don't get me wrong. You should, but I'm displaying to you that your sources of knowledge are not all empirical. You take testimonial, you take intuitive knowledge. So we have other avenues. You have deductive reasoning. You have, so you have your rational faculties. We don't, so religions don't need to be constricted to being proven and tested via scientific method. Science, I'm not just talking about provable in a lab. Yes, I'm talking about testimonials from people who have that knowledge. Okay, good. Who have, done, have performed those, uh, those experimentations, who have gained that knowledge, who can prove it on a scientific level. Mm. I can't, but I take their testimony. Fantastic. But yep. what I'm saying is, with reference to religion, there is nothing, zero, that can actually prove okay. the metaphysical. Uh, in what what can't prove the metaphysical scientific means of exploration or nothing as in we can't rationally deduce metaphysical things we can't uh, what's it called uh, make argumentations for it we can't uh, look at teleo teleological arguments or empirical faculty what what are, I'm trying to grasp from you is the it that we have an impossibility no 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 deductive arguments are not subjective yes, absolutely not in fact the scientific method is, is literally philosoph philosophers get together to decide and make what is the scientific method today. That's why we have a history of how the scientific method works. Uh, it's science, uh, the philosophy of science is the bedrock of uh, what's it called? What we have as scientific method today and how we practice science. So you cannot throw away deductive and rational capabilities and um, what's it called? Methods of uh, learning about the world. So I'm asking you again now yes, can we can. learn? Because you cannot gain any proof. Yes, we can. What I did not. Wait, wait, wait. Are, mathema are mathematics proofs? Are mathematics proofs? Mathematics, possibly, yes, because it's specifically. And what's objective. mathematics? It's not so. Okay, but what's math based on? Philosophy. You should know that. Yeah. So, deducti deductive, for, uh, what's it called? When you have formulas and then you're deducing uh, what's called numbers, it's the exact same way with a deductive argument. A deductive argument, if the premises are true, necessitates its conclusion necessitate it. And actually, in fact, a deductive, I'll say this on camera, a deductive argument is actually a way stronger form of evidence than any inductive scientific argument or theory or anything. Any. Because an induction is when you take uh, factors in your experience and generalize them to the non-observable. Observable, and then you generalize. So, 
It is not like a deductive argument where if the premises are true, it cannot be falsified. The, the, the conclusion cannot be, it's absolutely the case. It is a necessary conclusion. So that's why I'm telling you, don't dismiss religions as uh, not having an ability to be proven simply because we cannot do induction or some kind of scientific method approach to proving them. We could do deductive arguments, we could look at the testimonial evidence, etc. So now my question is, what have you seen that you were not convinced of? As an agnostic. The testimonial evidence you've just mentioned. In other yeah. words, testimonials from other people who do believe. Sure. Oh no, that's not necessary. No, 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 no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying just because somebody else told you this and that, you should believe it. it. No, absolutely not. However, you said you're an agnostic. I am. So... Because the hadith are just based... No, 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 no. Don't go to... No, 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 no. But with all due respect, if you think hadith, if you think hadith is subjective nonsense and it cannot be verified, you've never studied hadith. This is just... Uh, so don't go to hadith. You're agnostic. Hadith doesn't mean anything to you anyways. It really doesn't. So let's talk about what actually is relevant to you, which is why are you an agnostic and why do you not believe God exists? I just said because there's Hadith has nothing to do with whether God exists. God could exist if Islam is false, if Christianity is false, Hadith, if all religions are false. Hadith is just pure he say. They're supposed Bro, the, why are you Hadith, stressed about Hadith? All the Hadith are supposed to be based on what is Brother, the Don't go into Hadith because yeah, Hadith is nonsense. irrelevant. You could say that, and I, you, you, you cannot at, at all substantiate it. However, I'm not interested in having that conversation with you because why? You're an agnostic. You're not a Quranist who have to talk with Hadith. No, you're, you're an agnostic. Let's talk about whether, wh why do you not believe in God? What evidence did you think did not suffice that you're an agnostic? I want to know that, because that's what's relevant to me and you. I believe in God and you don't. What's so why are you an agnostic? Some form of evidence that would substantiate that claim. Any type so of what kind of evidence, evidence, what evidence is good, would convince you? Logical, What's your criteria? Logical evidence. Fantastic. To prove that God exists. Fantastic. And certainly that the various factions of God, be it Islam, be it yeah. Christianity, be it whatever, are the legitimate representatives of that belief. Fantastic. Did the universe always exist? Sorry? Did the universe always exist according to science which we love? Science doesn't have an answer for that. Yes, it does. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. 13.667 or, or 7.8, somewhere there. Subjective. No, it's not. So wait, science is subjective now. No, no, no. So, no, 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 no. It's what I'm saying, it's not science. No, no, no. Of course it's subjective. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, do you, wait, because you earlier were saying that science uh, has the ability to be such a strong source of knowledge and has a lot of evidence that therefore a lot people agree on it unanimously. Now I'm asking you a basic science, physics, oh, well, cosmology question. Basic. It's a very basic no, thing. Did the universe have a beginning? Scientific consensus? Yes. When? 13.8 billion years ago. Um, uh, what's it called? Where did the universe come from? A singularity. The Big Bang. These are basics okay, that we're talking about. Basic. Do you accept those? How long has man been in existence? That's irrelevant to the conversation right now because man, we're not, who cares about man when we're talking about the whole of the cosmos? Yeah. All of everything. All I'm saying is... No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't move forward. We don't need to talk about man. When I can talk to you, I'm bringing you back all the way to the singularity. The first, the beginning of the universe, cosmos, everything, the singularity, yeah? How old? 13.8 billion years ago. Okay, cool. So, it had a beginning, therefore, it is contingent. You know what a contingent existence is? No, contingent. Something that could have been another way. And we know this because everything about this universe is dependent upon other things. And all these things in this universe are contingent. And this universe had a beginning. Now my question to you is, how did this come about? The second question is why? I've I'd no love idea to hear. and I don't know why. Well, shouldn't you care to find out? Yeah. I'm not a scientist. Uh, that's not a science question. It's actually a, a, a philosophical question. Why is there existence rather than non-existence? At a point, there was no existence. So why? Could well be the case. I have no idea. I cannot provide the answer. So your agnosticism has no explanatory scope for probably the most two foundationally important questions about your existence. Correct. So why hold on to something that has no explanatory scope and why not seek something beyond that? No, 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 no. I am open, an agnostic is somebody who's open to the suggestion. Okay, good, if you're but, open. But they 100% don't believe in yes. Islam, Christianity. That's fine, Islam, I'm not asking Islam. you to be, and, and, you're, and, you're, and, and as an agnostic, this checks out. Saying, so if you're open. I can't disprove it, yeah. so therefore I am open to it. Okay, fantastic. So then, question is, why, uh, where did all these contingent existences come from? I have no idea. 
Well, you, sh you should have an explanation for this. No, These I don't things have an explanation. Well, you should. Uh, no, we're only just... What kind of explanations have you looked at that you were not satisfied with? We have only... We're, science and it's only just... Come we've we've we already... A, you said your criteria for evidence was not science. You said your criteria for evidence was logical reasoning, rational evidences. So I'm asking you, where did contingent existence is? Because contingent, by definition, contingent upon something else. What were these... What is all of this contingent cosmos based on? What is it contingent upon? What is it dependent upon? I don't have the, What I'm trying to tell you is, for the fifth time, I don't have the answers. Okay, good. So, do you think that we could have this conversation well, right now? No, 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 no. not have something imposed on me. Like no, nobody, like no, 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 no. Nothing, no, 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 nothing no, no, should be imposed on you. Sense. Nothing should be imposed on you. That's why we're having a conversation. I didn't say, I didn't put a gun to your head and tell you, you better believe this. We're having a conversation to debate whether we should move our positions around. You know, you see what I mean? So all I'm telling you is, this contingent world that we live in is contingent upon something else. Now, the fact that we're having a conversation right now is proof that an infinite regress of contingent past causes cannot be the case. And I'll tell you what, do you accept this? Continue. The reason is, is because the fact that we have a present moment right now, the fact that we're having this conversation means that there couldn't have been an infinite number of past events. See what I'm saying? Because if, it were, if the past went infinitely backwards, you would never have the first event to actually occur for the dominoes to strike to this conversation right now. So, logically speaking, we could deduce that an infinite regress is absolutely absurd. Therefore, this, these, these contingent things that are going on, they need to be contingent upon something that which is necessary. You understand what a necessary existence is by any chance? Okay, so a necessary existence is something which is the opposite of a contingent thing. It's independent, not contingent upon anything else. Did not begin to exist, eternal and limitless. And everything, uh, what's it called, could not be any other way and exists in all possible universes. That's what a necessary existence is. And why is this the case? You need a necessary existence and you should accept it just based on the fact that logically you cannot have an infinite regress. Now what part of this do you disagree with, if any? I'm an agnostic. I'm willing to listen. That's the point of Okay, so you just listened. So now give me your give me your uh, your position after you've listened. No, no. My position is still the same. I'm an Why agnostic. now? Because, because I've given you a, 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 I've given you religions make no sense. No, no, no. I'm I have not talked about religion this whole time. I have no interest in talking about religions with you. Right. Because you're an agnostic. It's like me putting the cart before the horse. Uh, religion is a conception, an idea of what God is, and a, a way to connect, and a set of rules and regulations from that God. You don't even believe in God. Why would I talk to you about this? It's nonsense to you. So I'm trying to get you to, let's discuss and see if that we can both accept that God exists. Now, you, do you accept that an infinite regress is absurd? Look, I think uh, that Hang you on. use too much of big words and you don't actually get straight to the point. Because I'm not understanding. Uh, Let me listen to you. But, Sister, 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 I could, I could break it down to you because okay. I was having a conversation with him. If you don't understand it, oh no, but I was, I started out with me. I didn't know that you're like, that you came later, that you don't understand it. So if you want to understand, that's not an issue. All of this universe began to exist at some point. And this, because it began to exist, it was at a point where it didn't exist. Therefore, as it needs an explanation for why it existed. And they, this explanation cannot be... Okay, do things come from nothing? I'm not saying that things come from nothing, but you impose like the idea that there has to be a why from the start. A what? I mean, yes, I mean, I mean, again, can, okay, can, can, some, can nothingness bring about something? Can absolute nothingness, which is the absence of everything, bring about something? In that case, no. But no. Okay. But I don't think like that. No, I'm just asking. I'm asking with yeah, you, yes? Yeah, yeah. Can absolute nothingness, which is the absence of everything, it doesn't exist as a concept only, can it bring about anything, let alone the universe? Consensually, no. Okay, fantastic. It's absurd. It's absurd, Unless right? somebody come up with an explanation as to it's why absurd. it could, I No, no, no. It can, there could never be an explanation. Uh, the point is it's uh, logically absurd. It's impossible, right? It's impossible for nothing they bring about something. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Can the other Keep option... Keep that word logic in mind. But Brother, really, sorry. Oh, yeah. are, uh, but the, another thing is... Can, okay, so now we said that we took away the option of the variable of nothing brought about something. Fantastic. Okay.
Can something that doesn't exist yet bring about its own existence? Conceptually, it's illogical, correct. Can your mum create herself? No. Okay, fantastic. So that's option number two. Therefore, something other than this thing had to bring it into existence, right? You can't create yourself. Somebody else has to create you, right? Fantastic. So now the question becomes, what is this, this, what is this thing, right? What is it? So the, what I'm telling you is it has to be a necessary thing. It cannot be uh, like anything else. Like you could tell me, oh, my mom created me. I could be like, well, created your mom. And then you would tell me, her gra my grandma, and we would go infinitely backwards. Now, the point is, is there's a finite number of contingent things, and they cannot all rely upon each other infinitely. You need something that is outside these contingent sets that brings about all the contingent things. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, but that thing cannot be born by itself because of what you just Ah, made. so that's why I made... See, that's why I said to you, you said to me, why are you going into the... Uh, why are you making things more complicated? That's why I needed to use those words so that you don't ask me a question like that. Because now you're asking, uh, why can't God or why can't this first thing create itself? Or create... Uh, what's called... Uh, why, why doesn't it... Why does it need to be created by something else? Because it is not a contingent thing. By definition, you because why did I explain the absurd the absurdity of an infinite regress? You can't have a chain of just infinitely things needing other what things. What I'm trying to say is there had to be a beginning. There had yeah. to be then first one thing that that beginning. that yeah, was that eternal. Happens, but that's something that you believe. But no, 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 no. That's not something that I believe. That's something through me showing you that an infinite regress is absurd. That is a rational proof for why there needs to be at least one thing that does not have a beginning. There's a beginning, therefore there was an initiation. That's not my opinion. I didn't give you an opinion. I gave you a rational yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, how does that... Okay. No, no. So, th so then, wait, wait. So then do we accept that the universe must have come from something? Are we there yet? My brother, just yeah, the camera. Sorry. Just... Sorry. Do we accept someone, that? Someone had to create the first human. Sorry? No, we're talking about the cosmos. No need to get into human. Please, brother. So... In my opinion, yes. we don't know that because you are considering no, the time of the, light of the universe like a light. Oh no, I'm not. I'm like saying this is pre-time. Like uh, I'm saying this is pre-time. No, no, no. I'm saying it's pre it doesn't matter if even if it's a circle because there would all be contingent. No, no. Go on. Because a circle, by definition, is infinite. Is a light of a circle or infinite? Point. Yeah. So if it's infinite, then two things. Can be infinite. There's no yeah. need to have a start. No. So here's the thing. A con a, a, an infinite within a contingent, it's still, you need to explain that infinite. You need to explain that contingent infinite. You understand what I'm saying? Because at one point, it didn't exist. So, by the way, you're saying that it's an infinite, but you have no proof for that. I reject that it's an infinite. Exactly. The scientists reject this. Philosoph philosophers reject it. We have no reason to say that the universe is infinite. In fact, everything we see tells us and shows us that everything is contingent. So, contingent things need at least one non-contingent things to explain them, at least. So all we're trying to say now is we, this, we know that it's impossible for things to come from nothing. We know that this something cannot be like me and you, cannot be contingent, cannot be like anything within the universe. Therefore, it needs to be outside of space and time, because space and time began with the universe. Okay. So outside of space and time, not like us, necessary, always exists. Now we get to something else. This thing also needs to have had a will, a will, willpower, an ability to choose. Why? Because an eternal, uh, what, uh, there, there's something called like an eternal cause equals eternal effects. I'll give you, an, uh, I'll sum it up for you. You know, on a light, a light switch, when you press the light switch, immediate effect, right? Yeah. Now, there was a point in time where there was no existence. Right? There was no, like, cosmos does not exist, correct? The problem is, if there was always the necessary being, which we say necessarily, by the definition, it always existed, therefore there could have never been a point where the universe doesn't exist, if it was just a, ma a machine, like a cause and effect. Because if the cause is there, the effect has to be there. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore this, this thing needed to have a will to say, at one point it did not want to create, and then at another point, it, cho it chose to create, you see that? Okay, okay, okay. A, ma a machine, you it doesn't choose. You press it, and it does the effect. Cause, effect. But something that has a will, chooses not to exercise the effect, and chooses, or chooses, not, or chooses not to, or chooses to exercise the effect. Is that clear? Yeah. So now we have 
outside of space and time, a necessary existence that has a will. Fair enough? So now, get, uh, what's it called? Get to, uh, to your agnosticism. Where are you at now? Say. How, uh, what? No, I'm at the same. You, 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 the only thing you've mentioned is, at one time there was nothing, and yep. there was something. Therefore, your conclusion is, there must have been an intelligent creator or something. Yeah. A power. A With a will. That said, yes, With a will. This is going to happen. With a will. With a will. Yep. Whatever. Whatever. Yep. And beyond that, do you, do you have any critique of that, for example? No. I'm open to that suggestion. Okay. So if you're open to it, so let's explore what more we could find out about this. The laws by which the universe functions are all laws that could have been in another way. You're leaving now? Okay, inshallah, yalla, let me just finish up. The law, I'll leave you with this, yeah? The laws that the universe functions by have, could all have been a different way. And the fact that they are a specific way shows intentionality. No, it's not true. Absolutely. No, 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 not, no, no. It shows intentionality because they could have been any other way and they could have been maintained as such. So, the fact that they're maintained in this specific way shows that not only is there will, there's also intentionality behind this specific way because the universe could have been a billion different ways. Absolutely is. And there are a billion tell me how. A billion universes within that. You know. Yes, yes, but precisely my point, because there were so many iterations of how the universe could have been, there's, it's a one specific one and it's maintained as such, shows intentionality behind that. Therefore, now we've established, outside of, state of, outside of time and space, a necessary existence, not contingent upon anything else, timeless and limitless, has a will and has intentionality. You're an agnostic. I've yet to hear a critique against any of this, so I'm struggling to see why you have not moved your position yet. I'm an agnostic in the fact that I do not believe in any of the established religions, but I keep an open mind no. as to something. No, but you've already... Okay, so some... Yes. So now, do you accept that this something has a will? This says something has intentionality? This something is outside of space and time? You, this, do you accept all these intentionality. things? Intentionality. Define intentionality for me. You're saying that... It's intentional. Yeah, it's an intention. It is as it is because a divine creator... Orchestrated. Some sort Orchestrated as such, it. yes. No, I don't believe that. Why not? It doesn't make any sense, that's yeah. why. Well, I'm waiting to hear why. For instance, for instance, let me just take down to the human species. No, no, don't take it down. I'm not interested in the human species because no, existence was all, way before the human it's species. Part, but it's it's quite a micro, no, it's no, no, a micro no, approach. No, I have no interest in that because part. evolution is getting stuck in the micro when I'm no, talking no, about no. the cosmos. I've no Humans could be wiped out of the earth, I don't care. And then we are discussing the matter before... Yes. The, I'm not just in the detail. Let's get to the, why is there existence? Why is there... You have to explain that before you tell me uh, which species evolved to what species. I'm not interested in that. This divine creator... Yes. ...that you're basically trying to sell me on, you're telling me that the world, the universe, it's billions of stars and, uni yeah. and universes that, yeah. that are in existence. They're all they contingent. They are all controlled by, all contingent on this yeah. great creator. Absolutely. And it's all, therefore, under the control of this great Absolutely. creator. It's not under control. If they're contingent to that, by definition, that they require that creator for everything, they're contingent upon it for their existence. There would be no stars, cosmos, anything else without that necessary being. No, but your, Simple. Your definition of the creator is something who creates and then maintains control well, as well. Well, of course. No, no. They're contingent. Yes. They're always no, no, contingent. No, no, no. The creator, you're saying, this creative force, yeah. you're calling it God. I'm and talking yet, about a possible creative force of some sort. No, no, but we've already said this, for, this creative stars. force, that's why I'm trying to... I know that that's your position. I'm trying to move you away from it. None of this energy force, I'm telling you, has a will and intentionality. That's the point. It's not some woo-woo, like we can't... No, it's, a, it's an agent that has will and intentionality. You need time to wrap your head around what you say. That's no, 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 I agree with you. No, 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 no. 100%. No, you are so focused on Islam. Bro, okay, listen, listen. 
That's weird for your head. I anyways need to head out. Take this time to reflect on it. We could have a second That's discussion exactly. next week. No. I, he has. He didn't even mention the word Islam. I don't know why no, you no. went to Islam. Because this guy is so blinkered. Why? That's why? Why would you That's assume right. that about him? Because, why? Because well, he has a beard? Because no, I've already spoken to him earlier. Okay, so, uh, what, so what if he's like... No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're no, no. talking about no, no, no. Listen, listen. No, no. I have not mentioned the word Islam. No, no, no. That maintains control. Yes, and what's crazy about that? Because there's so many. Yeah, what's yeah, what's crazy about that? I'll tell you why. Because there are so many irregularities, so much evil, so much irregularities. Our universe is filled with regular. Whoa, 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 irregularities. Why do you think the only reason we could do science is because the universe has regularities? The only reason. If science did not function on regularities, wallahi, the whole scientific enterprise would disappear. It would crumble. That's the reason we could do science is because the universe operates on regularities. So, and that's why, and these, exact, exactly, that's why. So the fact of the matter is these regularities require an explanation. And I told you, the fact that these regularities exist in the way they do and not in a different way shows intentionality. Shows that this creative, creative agent that was able to bring about this universe at a time where he did not need to, he was not forced to, he did so by his will. He did so by his intentionality. That's all I'm asking you to accept. And I'm waiting for you to hear, I'm waiting to hear a criticism against those two things. You've not provided it. Because you have basically said that this creator maintains control. <laughs> yes, Anyways. that is what you're saying. Okay, he has take care of yourself. That our take existence, care. Okay. our existence, take care. the existence of the universe. You're not listening, No, no, mate. I'm listening. I've, I've, no, no, no. I've sat and listened to you the whole time. Let's leave it here and you reflect on what sense. I said and, you and we'll on what I've said No no I'll reflect I'll reflect and I, but I've answered no 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 I've There's answered no 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 I've answered control. every single thing that you've put put forward no, Yes I have part, Yes I have Yes I have You know you've just objected to it. I've, I've I've waited for you to give me a reason why So anyways we'll continue this it was nice talking to you yeah?